Hello, Empowered Woman. Welcome to this episode of the Empowered Woman Podcast. Today, I'm going to be not only sharing an update on recent events and achievements with the publishing of my book, preparing for TEDx and all of that, but I'll also talk about unique marketing. Yes, if you and your business are unique, why should your marketing look like anyone else's? Especially after publishing my book and including the Enneagram as an important tool for business growth, I couldn't not infuse the Enneagram into my empowerment marketing. So if you're wanting to create aligned marketing to build a business that lights you up instead of draining you and burning you out, tune in. Welcome back to the Empowered Woman Podcast, the number one show on personal growth, visibility, and profit for women entrepreneurs. If you're wanting to start believing in yourself, giving yourself permission to succeed, and let your voice be heard to make an impact in the world as an entrepreneur, this is the place for you. I am so glad that you're here. My name is Marcia Spurk, and I'm your host, triplet mom, woman empowerment coach, and all things motivation extraordinaire. Welcome again, and let's dive into today's episode. All right, dear friends, first and foremost, I apologize once again for my nasal voice. Honestly, I feel like I have been sick since Thanksgiving, so it's been over a couple of months because the entire time in Brazil I was sick. Um, Then we all got sick after the kids' birthday, birthday party, um, petri dish, whatever it is that people call these days that, you know, encounters with children and school and daycare and all of that stuff. Um, So it's been a couple tough weeks, I guess, ever since their birthday. I think probably emotionally with just the achievement of six years, it's always an emotional time with the holidays, with my birthday, and then with the publishing of the book. I actually made a post earlier this week talking about how it's hard for me to even talk a whole lot about the hard times at times because I don't want to seem whiny and it's just tough for me to be vulnerable. And especially with all the work that I'm doing this week with the Empowered Woman Experience and diving into the Enneagram, diving into the content of the book for the ladies that joined me, it's been an amazing experience, (laughs) obviously. Um, uh, a client was just asking me, I hope it's been a good week with the with the experience, and I said, I feel like I needed this more than anyone else. Really diving into the content of the book, uh, the idea was to give people this experience, but I needed this. I needed to revisit everything, but then to have people to um, share it with, and I'm so grateful for the ladies that joined in the experience. I'm planning on um, open opening this up a couple of times a year really to continue on with the work in the book. Because as I explain in the book, and if you have read the book, I would love to hear from you. So grateful for everyone that's left reviews on Amazon. We're up to 10 reviews on Amazon. Thank you so much. You know how um, helpful that is to increase the reach of the book. Um, And also all the feedback that I've been getting just with messages of people messaging me and saying, wow, this is such an interesting approach to personal growth. And I love learning about your story. And so And in the book I share, this is a cyclical process. It really never ends. Um, And even though it's five steps, once you're done with with the fifth step, you go back around and you continue on. And that's what I'm doing. And I stress that in the book as well, that even though I am sharing this process and teaching this process, it doesn't mean that I've perfected it. It's an ongoing thing. And so it's been emotional. I got to tell you, um, I've shed some tears during the coaching calls of the experience and And I know it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm preparing for the TEDx talk, and the TEDx talk has a lot to do with the topic of the book, which is me um, learning about triplets and understanding that I've been overcoming challenges my whole life and what makes me empowered. So it's going to be talking a lot about empowerment, conquering, um, achieving, defeat, because it has so much to do with my personality type as an Enneagram 3, and it's making me emotional. Okay, Um, and so I I, I wanted to share and be vulnerable and say it's not easy for me to be vulnerable, but time and time again, I'm reminded by my clients how 
helpful it is for them that I am real and that I share these moments and that empowered woman cries sometimes, empowered woman struggles sometimes. And I know that it helps others feel encouraged to know that you're not a freak of nature and um, everyone, everybody's going through something, you know, that Neil Bull song. <laughs> it's a good one. Anyway, so I shared a little bit about that and how I'm still going through stuff and processing everything. And I know it's continuous layers. So I highly encourage you to go and check out the book. You can get it on Amazon or just go to martasfork.com and you'll find information to get signed copies. You can also get uh, up to 10 copies, signed copies, mailed directly to you so you can give to friends and clients. I've been getting tons of requests for speaking engagements, not only virtual, but in person as well for cham several chambers, chambers of commerce, MOPS groups. Um, my VA created an amazing speaking reel. So if you're interested in information on what exactly I speak on, you can go to martasport.com forward slash media or speaking. Take a look at all my speaking uh, presentations and topics if you want me to speak to your group. And especially if you want me to come and speak of the topic of the book, because then you can actually recommend the book and people can walk away with something tangible to continue on with this process. But all right, so let's, let's talk about marketing and unique marketing. So one thing, I realized I dropped the ball in my Facebook group the last few months with the launching of my group coaching programs. I took kind of a different direction with how I was doing my marketing and also because I was focused on getting the book done. The holidays is a busy season. And in many ways, I kind of stopped doing what I tell my clients to do. So I'll be the first to acknowledge that. I was called out by a few friends and mentors like, what are you doing, Marta, with your group? Okay, so this past week, with all of these realizations, I started asking more questions in my group, slowing down and listening to my audience so that I can create meaningful content. So tip number one for your marketing by all means, by everything that's necessary and important, ask your audience for questions, okay? I don't care who told you that you can just create and do whatever you want because people will come and find you. If you are not communicating with your audience, that does not work, okay? That's bottom line. Marketing is communication, is listening to what people have to say, okay? So calling myself out here, I started asking more questions in my group, and it's been amazing how much engagement I've been getting and really confirmation of what I was already wanting to do. See, that's what it is. It's not that people are going to tell you how to run your business because it's like, oh, I don't want to create this, but people are asking me. That's not what it's about. You already have an expertise. You already have something you want to talk about. But please ask people, validate it, prime them, plant the seeds. That's effective marketing right there. So you want to take any notes, start taking notes right now. Start asking more questions. Please slow down and listen to what people really need and want from you. So I started asking more specifically around marketing. What does marketing mean to you? What is something that comes to mind when you think marketing? And it was so interesting to hear the responses, which by the way, I would love to hear from you. Send me an email, send me a message, or join my group, The Empowered Woman Community, Go look for the thread or just post directly and tell me what marketing means to you. And the variety of answers was insane. And it was really, to me, a reflection of how people see the world with different lenses, which is exactly what I talk about with the Enneagram in my book. And some people said such amazing words like marketing to me is relationship, it's magic, it's persuasion, it's strategy. And then some said it's lies, it's costly, uh, it's... it's um, it's annoying. It's exhausting. So pay attention to this. And I, I feel like this is such a great exercise for so many things in life, right? If you're struggling with something, go ask people how they feel about that specific thing. And you will see the variety of answers. That's something else that I mentioned in my book. All of us have gone through the experience of something happens that really bothers you. You go and you share it with a friend and the friend says, what's the big deal? I don't know why you're so worked up over this. And you want to punch them in the face because obviously it's a big deal. But different people perceive things in different ways. And that's why I found in the Enneagram such a powerful tool to help us broaden our perspective and understand that 
the world is so diverse and that helps us with our relationship with ourselves and with our relationship with people. And when you talk business, talk about relationships. Your relationship with yourself is the foundation of you growing your business and your relationship with your audience is so important with your clients, with your prospects, with collaborators, right? With partners. All of that is very important. My friend, if you want to own a business and you don't want to have to communicate and have interaction with people, you're in the wrong spot, right? Go find a job that you only need to sit behind a computer. Job, because then people are telling you what to do. And still, you're still going to be told what to do, so it's still going to be inconvenient. We're here on earth to iron sharpen iron, right? Isn't that what the Bible says? We're here on earth to learn from our interactions with people. So there is no escape. You'd have to go to Mars, okay? So that's not going to happen. Anyway, so the responses were so varied um, that proved my point to myself that the Enneagram can be such a powerful tool for you to create aligned marketing for yourself and a business that doesn't drain you and doesn't burn you out. But I didn't stop there. I went on and created a different thread and I asked, um, what are some marketing strategies that you've tried and you absolutely hate it? They were not for you. And I put on ads, um, Facebook lives or live videos, live launches, email marketing. Um, what else? I put so many different things, podcasting, blogging. And it was so interesting to see how some people picked all of them. They even commented in the comments. They're like, can I pick all of them? I hate all of them. Or some people were like, I really, really tried um, social media content calendar. Didn't work out for me all kinds of stuff. And it was so interesting, again, to see the variety of responses. And ultimately, this proved my point that if your business is unique, if you are unique, first and foremost, and if your business is unique, why in the world would you be copying anyone else's marketing strategy? And this is a problem that I see in the online world. And it's something that people have been catching on in the last year or two, that the things that worked a year or two ago or even 10 years ago in the online space, do not work anymore. And that's something that became so clear to me when I was still doing network marketing. What worked a couple months before did not work anymore because people started catching on. Things spread like wildfire in the online space because it's so much connection. It's so fast. So things, people get over things very quickly. I mean, think about different platforms showing up every few months and different features in each of the platforms. So we need to stay up to date. It is exhausting. You have this new mentor or this new person coming out telling you, you need TikTok, you need Clubhouse, this is the new deal. What you need now is to create a webinar and then a funnel and then this, this is the hot strategy. This is what's going to work. And then by the time you master it, it doesn't work anymore. And then you just want to tear your hair out and close up shop. So my proposition for you is stop all of this. Understand what you jive with so that you're not wasting your time following the herd, following what people are telling you, because everyone is selling one strategy and saying that's the thing. You know, a Pinterest expert is going to say the only way to grow a business is to buy their course and to do Pinterest. Somebody that advocates for live launches, the only thing they're going to say that works is live launches or whatever other strategy, because that's how people make money, okay? But I want you to go against all of it, against this grain. And I want you to instead work with yourself. And this is what the Enneagram will help you do. Work with yourself. Because it's not only in terms of relationships. It's learning to work with yourself in terms of strategy. And I will say this again. If you are unique and your business is unique, why in the world would it look like your mentor's business? Why in the world should it look like your peers' businesses or even your clients' businesses? And I'm saying this because especially over the last year, many of my clients have tried to do business like you and I was at fault because I was sharing specific, specific strategies that worked better for me because of my personality type and then they would feel jaded. And I don't want this to happen. I don't want to create Marta Minions. I want you to be your best version of yourself, okay? So my proposition is I want you to join my Facebook group because I'm going to be doing a live training and really all through February, you're going to hear me talk about unique marketing. 
Talk about Enneagram marketing. Talk about empowerment marketing that is aligned with who you are so that you're not tearing your hair out. Does this sound good? Because this sounds freaking amazing to me. I don't want to be copying anyone else's strategy and exhausting myself and hating my business. That's not the point. Fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with your business. People will fall in love with you and they will come to you. You will magnetize your ideal clients and people that are ready to make a change, people that are ready to grow, okay? So this is my proposition for you. I'm going to be doing a training next week, I believe February 2nd. Yes, February 2nd in my group. Go to the Empowered Woman community, participate in the conversations, share your thoughts about this. And of course, I will be breaking this down, not only in terms of each Enneagram type, but also about key motivations from groups of types. Because there's so many, if you know the Enneagram, you know there's so many ways of grouping the types in ways that um, it has to do with their stance. It has to do with um, the way they process information and the wings and all of that. So the more you understand your own type, and especially if you're a coach, it'll be so helpful in you understanding your clients and creating programs and offers that helps people that process information and that have specific lenses. So you're not creating cookie cutters. Honestly, the bottom line of all of this is let's stop creating cookie cutter stuff. Because it doesn't work. It leaves people frustrated. It keeps people from getting results. Okay? So instead of cookie cutter, uniqueness. Let's. And how do you do that? That's exactly what I want to help you with. There is a way of you, of, of you creating programs and offers and your own marketing. That is not cookie cutter. That doesn't leave people out. But that helps them feel like they belong and there's hope for them. All right? Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope to see you inside my Facebook group for this free training on February 2nd. Uh, Join us, the Empowered Woman community. The link is in the show notes for more specific information on the time. I'll see you there. Until next time, bye.